Hi, hello guys, welcome back on my channel. So um, today I was um, doing a workout, upper body workout. It wasn't really planned, but I just thought I will uh, record it and post it so you can have a, an idea of how to work out. So um, the focus today will be on uh, back, shoulders and arms, um, biceps and triceps. So one piece of advice, always, always start with a bigger muscle group um, when you have, especially at the beginning when you have a lot of energy, um, you have to work the bigger part. So in that case, first we will work the back. The second part will be the shoulders. And at the end, so third part will be the arms, so uh, biceps and triceps. I will give you three exercises by muscle group. It will be like a tricep, so you will be three times the three exercises in a row. You will do 10 reps per exercises and move to the next exercise. One minute rest and you start again, three times. Okay guys, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe just below um, to never miss any workout. Okay guys, are you ready? Let's go. So we start the first back tricep with wide grip lat pull down. So I love this exercise because um, it's great for women that are fighting, you know, the chubby back, you know, around your bra. And for the men, uh, it's a really good exercise to get the V-shape back. So before starting, make sure you adjust the knee pads for the height of your legs. So you have to grab the bar above your head with your palms facing forward. I want you to get a wide grip, so that means bigger than your shoulder width. You sit down. Your torso should be lightly inclined backwards, like 20-30 degrees. So we are bringing the bar down until it reaches our chest. So you can stop either the nipples line or just under it. And once you reach that level, you will stop for a second or two. And I want you to really, really, really squeeze your shoulder blades as much as you can. Um, once you feel the burn, you are ready to raise really slowly the bar back to the starting position. And when you will feel your arms, so when your arms are fully extended, you will feel your lats uh, really stretched. So it's time to bring the bar down once again. So we will do that 10 times. So straight back to the second exercise, seated cable row. So you will need a um, low pulley row machine. Uh, so you sit down and place your feet on the platform or the crossbar in front of you. Make sure your knees are bent and not locked. In my case, I don't have a seat or a platform, so I use two sandbags, one for my butt and one for my feet. Um, you also need to use a V-bar handle, so it's the one with a V-shape that you can grab with your two hands, um, palms facing each other. Grab those handles and get your torso straight, 90 degree angle from your legs. At this point, that's the starting position, so you should feel a nice stretch in your lats and you need to keep your torso still so don't move it only your arms and back will work so put the handles back towards your torso you can touch your abs at you know belly button level or, or nipple slide uh, level as you want try both you will feel the difference one there squeeze those back muscles um, for long second and slowly slowly come back to the starting position arm extended ready for 10 reps. If you can't find a V-bar handles, use a short straight bar and you can um, have either palms facing up or facing down. Just think about keeping a shoulder width grip. So we continue with the T-bar row. So you will need an Olympic bar. Either you have a T-bar base or you position it in a corner between two walls to keep it from moving. So stand over the bar with a Viva handles, uh, again, the closest you know possible to the weight plates. Get a wide stance with your hips back and your chest up. Your arms should be extended, completely extended. That's your starting position. When you're there, pull the bar flexing your elbows with your hands the closest possible to your chest and you should feel your shoulder blades contracted. So um, don't forget to get your, your back you know, really, really straight. Pause for a long second when you are at the top and uh, really you know, 
return slowly slowly to the starting position don't drop the bar on the floor keep holding it and do 10 reps if your form isn't right get a lighter weight or just the bar maybe for the beginner because we want to perform a perfect form to use the muscle properly so if it's too heavy just drop the weight keep the form we are ready for the shoulder uh, tricep so front raise um, with dumbbells so pick a couple of dumbbells stand with a straight body and the dumbbells in front of your thigh your palms should face your legs so we are doing alternate raises here to isolate each shoulders so you will lift the first dumbbell to the front keep a light bend to your elbow and stop the movement when you um, reach so when your arm is parallel to the floor or just above it now when you reach that level lower the dumbbell back down really really slowly and start again with the second dumbbell so second arm 10 times each so 20 in total for advance you can lift both arms uh, together at the same time it's a bit more challenging second shoulder exercise that's a uh, lateral raises so um, same position but you start the dumbbell in front of your thighs um, torso straight raise the first dumbbell on your side palm facing the floor and you keep your elbow slightly bent and stop when your arm is parallel to the floor so it's why looking at yourself in the mirror could help so you see where you are once you reach the right level you lower the dumbbell down and lift the other side again so for advance you can lift both arms together but we want to make sure that we don't bend the back or the neck especially if it's really heavy weight we want to keep the back and the chest you know really straight so adapt the weight to get a perfect form uh, again drop the weight keep the form third of the combo dumbbell shoulder press also called overhead dumbbell press so standing position you raise the dumbbells so both of them close to your ears your elbow out and about 90 degrees this will be your starting position so you will extend through the elbow um, to raise the weights together directly above your head you have to pause there and slowly return the weight to the starting position uh, you can help yourself with your leg impulsion or stay strictly still you know without leg drive I would recommend for beginner to start with your legs impulsion but really really think about keeping your back straight so in the video you can see me with my um, my leg drive uh, it does help now turn for the biceps that's my weakest point I'm not really a big fan of biceps exercises but you know you need to do biceps and triceps biceps curl to start I will usually use an easy curl bar you can also use a barbell or uh, even dumbbells so you stand up straight your palm facing your palms facing forward holding a barbell or easy curl bar doesn't matter keep your arms stretched in front of you and your elbow really really close to your abs so I want you to keep your upper body still I don't want to see it moving and you will have to curl the bar in contracting your biceps only so focus your attention on your muscle once the bar reach your shoulder level I want you to hold it for a second and squeeze your biceps then you can lower the bar back to the starting position so this one is the worst for me incline dumbbell biceps curl um, I say the worst because it's really really working and burning so sit back on an inclined bench uh, the more inclined you go the more challenging it will be so grab a dumbbell in each hand keep your elbows really really close to your torso your palms should face the ceiling on that one so I want you to curl the dumbbell forwards to your shoulder only in contracting your biceps so again focus your attention on your muscle when you do the movements and when you reach the top you know hold for a second and go back down so you can have either your legs on the floor like me right now 
or on the bench. I usually have them on the bench so it keeps my back flat against the bench. Um, on that one, so mostly for beginner, you can do one arm at a time or you can also do both arms together, it depends on your fitness level. Drop the weight, keep the form. Last one on the biceps, it's called the concentration curl. So I want you to sit down on a flat bench with one dumbbell between your legs. Legs spread, knees bent, feet on the floor. You will have to place the back of your upper arm against your knee and your inner thighs. Um, your arm will be extended. Once you're there, you grab the dumbbell on the floor and hold it just above the ground. Once there, squeeze your biceps and slowly, slowly bring the dumbbell back to the starting position. 10 reps of the same arm in a row and you can change the other side. Try to think to keep your chest up as much as you can on that specific exercise and usually that start burning there. So we start the bench tricep dips. It's one of my favorite because you really, really feel the, the burn for, for the triceps. So I want you to start and sit on the bench, place both hands on each side of your butt. So really, really, really close to your butt. That will be your, um, your grip. So you have to hold on the edge of the bench while you are extending your legs in front of the bench. Keep your knees bent especially for beginner, and slowly lower your body by you know, bending your elbows behind your back. So not on the side, but behind your back in a straight line. You need to reach almost 90 degrees between your hand and your upper arm. You have to use your triceps to bring you up again. Different option to switch your fitness level, either legs bent or straight legs legs on another bench and the killer one legs on a bench and some weights on your thighs 10 each time and i can assure you that you will feel the burn the skull crusher so using a close grip i want you to lift the easy bar or barbell and hold it with your elbows in as you lie on the bench only flex your elbows to lower the bar Pose once the bar is directly above your forehead or maybe just at your you know, skull level behind your head. Lift the bar back to the starting position by extending the elbows. So you can use maybe a resistance band if you want to keep your elbows close to each other and it will increase the resistance of the movement as well. So two birds, one stone. If you don't have an easy bar, you can use a barbell, a quite light barbell, or if you have dumbbells, you can also use it like both hands together or both hands behind your head, as you can see on the video. Last exercise of the whole series, so triceps push down. I like to do that one last because I really, really can feel the burn on that one. I often need a break because it burns so much, so um, it's why I like to do it last. So you will use a um, straight bar attached to a high pulley or you can also use the lat pull down machine as I do on that video. Get a, a close grip. So the starting position is your upper arms close to your torso on your side and your forearms in front of you, 90 degrees angle, parallel to the floor, holding the bar in front of you. So your palms should face down. Using your triceps, I want you to bring the bar down until it touches the front of your thighs and you will have your, you know, your arms fully, fully extended on that one. Only your forearms are moving, nothing else. After a second hold, bring the bar slowly up to the starting point and go down again, 10 times. Hi guys, so if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope guys you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comment below and I'll see you soon for a new workout. Bye.